What's going on there, folks? Good morning. Well, good afternoon now. It's uh, the Earthmaster here on the Sunday, June 19th, 2022 date. Uh, happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. It's about 11.54 a.m. California time. Our latest quake shows some movement there with a 1.0 into the area of Southern California, it looks like. Uh, low activity ramping up also into the, um, looks like just off the coast of Nicaragua. Costa Rica area uh, seen a 5.1 earthquake there on the globe let's go ahead and check out the latest details here on the map from the USGS showing that 5.1 and a little north of the area that I was expecting uh, looks like off the coast of Guatemala and El Salvador 5.1 into the middle America trench looks like right smack dab in there about 24 kilometers into this region this area does see quite a bit of large earthquake activity, um, historically speaking, that is. Uh, there's a lot. And it uh, looks like uh, over the past well, few weeks or so, we've definitely been seeing a swarm of activity. This movement, uh, of course, is activity since about the 1900 or so. See all the large earthquakes uh, from 4 to 5. Looks like even some 6s to 7s up there in the magnitude of this area. Uh, again, this region does see quite a bit of uh, accumulated stress in a short amount of time within this area uh, but now for just for now 5.1 so hopefully it stays that way uh, looking up towards the west coast we did see some further activity here along the blanco fracture zone uh, this one coming in uh, earlier this morning a 3.6 into the uh, kind of the more western portion of the blanco fracture zone of course this area has seen uh, quite a bit of activity here over the last week or so of movement. And that 3.6 looks like it just sits a little outside of that earthquake swarm that we've seen earlier last week. Uh, one earthquake up here into the uh, Washington region. Now this one here is a little um, close to the Cascadia. It is inland if you look here on the map obviously but if you look at the depth this the depth of this earthquake 27 kilometers downstream of the Cascadia for this 2.9 Cascadia of course the mega thrust zone sits here within this locked area uh, some movement up here into the Ashford area as well with a uh, 1.5 actually it's right smack dab at the Mount Rainier volcano we'll check out the volcanic seismicity map here in just a second at that volcano but uh, at least they're showing a little activity here on the Sunday. Uh, Northern California, we've got some movement down here as well near the Blue Lake area. Uh, this one coming in, uh, what time was that? 16.03 UTC time. So a couple hours ago, I had this earthquake strike at about 22 kilometers down dip here into the southern portion of the Cascadia Megathrust area uh, for that 2.4. So a little bit of movement taking place on the Cascadia today. Idaho and throughout the Wyoming area just a couple spotty earthquakes there and uh, some activity kind of kicking up across the southern portion of the state of California also up here around the uh, San Andreas Fault where we're seeing a 1.4 looks like it's right smack dab on that fault system the plate boundary uh, that one occurring within the last hour some other activity up and down the creeping section here of the San Andreas Fault and a little bit of movement it looks like outside of long valley super volcano here uh, with a couple earthquakes southern california or at least the most southern part of it seeing uh well, it kind of looks like a typical day down there no major swarms to report no unusual activity to take note of currently there at the um, southern california region a little bit of activity in nevada uh, a couple ones kicking off here well to the west of Las Vegas. Uh, rest of the country, Texas, Oklahoma, little spotty activity today. Got one earthquake occurring here overnight in the Kentucky area along the Appalachian Mountains with a 2.2. No further activity to note in the Georgia area. Following that, uh, Following that earthquake they had here just a day or so ago, the 3.9, kind of shaking things out there in the beautiful state of Georgia. Puerto Rico, look at this. Things kind of dying off right now. Seeing a pretty uh, large dramatic drop-off of earthquakes. Only 13 earthquakes here around the south 
portion of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico Trench looks pretty clear for now. Nothing major going on currently. South America about the same. One earthquake into the uh, Bolivia area. Although this is down dip. 271 kilometers into the Peru Chile Trench there for that 4.1. The Big Island uh, lighten up a little bit here. Seen some activity yesterday around the Mauna Loa area with a 2.7 way up there uh, and the very shallow earthquake uh, feature up there negative 0.8 so that's right smack dab at the surface considering the elevations there uh, and just a few earthquakes around the Pahala area uh, western portion of the Pacific Ring of Fire has shown a little bit of increase in movement since yesterday specifically around the Japan Trench and also some activity here around the East China Sea where a 4.3 coming in within the last hour uh, so a little bit of heightened activity we're watching and taking note of along the uh, uh, area here around Japan and towards Taiwan getting a cluster of quakes around the Tonga region overnight and this morning it looks like a couple fours and even a five into the Tonga trench uh, one of these earthquakes yesterday was a 4.7 pretty deep into the area uh, but we're starting to note a little bit of migration here to the south along the Tonga trench rest of the world one lonesome earthquake at least for the 4.0 and above map goes in china with a 4.2 kicking off there um that one occurring just a couple hours ago it looks like actually that was from yesterday uh 618 21 older quake about ready to drop off the map there 4.6 was from yesterday as well near the prince edwards islands uh let's see here yellowstone national park there's not a whole lot going on here that i can uh see or even discuss everything looks pretty uh, calm for now in terms of earthquake activity not a whole lot going on uh, yesterday the trimmer map showed only i, I could have swore there was a little bit of activity here did it disappear all righty i thought there was some but maybe not uh so zero is the trimmer count from yesterday uh, we'll go ahead and check out the Mount Rainier area. Also, someone mentioned about Mount Baker, uh, if we ever check it. And uh, yes, we do on occasion. But uh, sometimes, let's see here. There's not a lot of uh, seismograph stations up there around Mount Baker, but we'll check it out here in a second. So this is the Mount Rainier area where it looks like there was a little bit of activity popping up. And I'm, I can already see it right here. Um, picking up some type of s waves it looks like see the wavy lines here i think that uh may be from the activity we're seeing down south into the uh, middle america trench sometimes it does pick up these uh the s waves from those fives uh let's check out the previous day here at mount rainier and see well one earthquake disappeared but uh, i'm pretty certain that's the uh, one that was noted here on the uh, USGS map that's going to be this earthquake but just a very small earthquake up here around Mount Rainier nothing significant uh, 1.5 at uh, 0 15 19 0 15 19 so yeah that's going to be this one right here popping up 1.5 so prior to that uh, earthquake looks like it was pretty clear across the board yesterday some S waves from that uh, uh, earthquake activity in the Gulf of California there a day or so ago, a couple days ago. And a little spike of localized activity there at uh, Mount Rainier, although it looks a little bit smaller than the 1.5 that was showing up there on the previous map. Let's go ahead and check out uh, Mount Baker area. Now, the reason why we don't check it out too often is because it's one of those areas that do not have a lot of seismograph stations there uh, monitoring the activity. And same goes with the GPS stations. <clears throat> There's not just not a whole lot of monitoring equipment up here. Um, and last time I checked, I don't think this one was operational. But let me see here. Stand by for just a second. I... Looks like it's up there, but this is some error activity. Doesn't look properly tuned in terms of uh, reading anything. 
far as earthquake activity goes. Let me check the previous day here at Mount Baker. See, all this activity is not um, earthquake related. This is all <coughs> not for sure what it is, but it doesn't look properly tuned. Uh, and then the nearest station within the vicinity of Mount Baker is this one way over here off, off the side. Um, looks like Mount Baker ski area. We'll check this out and see if uh, this one's a little bit more functionable. And obviously, <laughs> this one too looks like it's out of whack. So I'm not for sure what's going on with those uh, seismographs there, but obviously it looks like some interference every couple hours or so. See the consistency? Not volcanic activity, not magma. Magma and volcanic activity does not follow a consistent trend every three hours. So. Uh, there's some interference going on there. As far as earthquake activity, again, it's hard to decipher from this type of uh, seismograph that's not set up properly, I would say. So that's kind of why we don't check a whole lot in the Mount Baker area. There is one more down here. Uh, let's see if the strong motion system is working. Uh, the Puget Sound Energy Upper Baker Dam area. <clears throat> this could also be some major interference here within the seismograph jeez oh, look at that yeah definitely <laughs> folks that is not ground movement that is not uh, anything other than improperly tuned seismograph and there's no earthquake activity that I can see here in this region uh, let's see previous day same thing it just looks out of whack this is a digital version of the <coughs> seismograph you know, of course, a seismogram, you know, with a little needle drawing across some paper on a drum. It's kind of just like the digital version. So a lot of times, it, um, whoever's taking care of this is not doing a good job. But no earthquake activity or volcanic activity that I can see there around this region of the uh, uh, Mount Baker area. Mount St. Helens, though, uh, we'll go ahead and check this out. These guys have a lot of, of course, after the uh, all the activity, of course, they better have a lot of seismograph stations all over this volcano. Come on. There we go. Um, and again, these guys not showing a whole lot of activity. It looks like things kind of mellowed out today. Uh, in the previous day, about the same thing. Seen a couple small spikes of earthquakes. So this kind of comes and goes to get these little earthquake, uh, little very small microquake swarms, and then they just die off for a little bit, and, uh, and then they come again. So uh, although earthquake activity just looks pretty, uh, pretty calm for today's uh, map. Uh, let's see what else we got here for solar weather activity. It looks pretty quiet uh, for the most part. We are crackling here with some sea flares. See it up here around the sea category. Uh, no major flares to report yet, but um, let's see what we got for any type of flaring potential. This one here, 3038, is growing pretty, uh, pretty massively. These other sunspots here that are now going to be turning away from us and saying goodbye. They hardly produced anything while they were visiting the uh, Earth side of the sun. Um, you know, there's still a little bit of dynamic intermixing there of the polarity of the fields that could provide us with some maybe, maybe a low grade M flare, but uh, that could be directed away from Earth if this thing were to pop or uh, produce any type of CME. It wouldn't hit Earth at all uh, in that position. 3034, not a whole lot. Uh, and then behind the globe or behind the uh, the trail of sunspots, so to speak, the eastern limb, looking pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of development around that side of the bend, as you can see here on this map as well. So we'll keep an eye on it for sure. If anything changes, we'll take note of it and, of course, report on it here on this channel. So, all right, guys, have a good day. There's no uh, major buoys popping off here. Got a little hurricane activity around the Gulf. Um, what is it? Tropical storm now. Looks like it's kind of moving off to the uh, due west. 
some further development looks like coming off the coast here so uh, let's see what do we got for buoys anything going on I don't see anything that looks like it's going off at all so alrighty guys have a good day enjoy your Sunday out there happy Father's Day once again to all the fathers that uh, are good dads and whatnot of course I uh, I got two boys myself um, they're much older now they're men I got a uh, 20 what is he who he's up in his lower 20s right 23 now holy smokes 22 23 uh, just time flies by and then I got a 19 year old so uh, yeah kind of make me feel a little bit old but you know what that's okay uh, and both those kids are doing good and uh, that's that's the main thing that's all I care about is that they're uh, doing good in life and that's all one can ask for right all right guys take care stay safe out there we will chat you a little bit later tonight with the update peace out